much no, no. Convicted double murderer David Tamihiri is to ask the new Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern for a pardon. Now, today one of the three jailhouse stitches, st snitches who gave evidence against Tamihiri at his 1990 trial was sentenced to eight years and seven months for lying to the jury. Tamihiri's lawyer, Murray Gibson, says he will approach the Prime Minister, the incoming Prime Minister, and ask her to follow the same process Rob Muldoon did in the Arthur Allen Thomas case. Our Auckland court reporter Edward Gay filed this report. Murray Gibson described today's sentencing of Witness C as another brick in the wall of evidence against his client that is slowly being dismantled. Witness C told Tamahiri's trial that Tamahiri had made a number of confessions to him, including that he had sexually abused the Swedish tourists, Heidi Parkinen and Sven Hoglund, and that he had dumped their bodies at sea. After Tamahiri's trial, Mr Hoglund's body was found buried in a shallow grave. Outside court today, David Tamahiri, who was released on parole in 2010, said today's sentence was meaningless, but getting Witness C convicted for lying at his trial was the main thing. Since I've been convicted, the Crown's case just keeps falling apart, or bits and pieces keep falling off it, and they're just insisting that, no, it's still as sound as it ever was, you know, but you've got to reach a tipping point where they say, well, hold on, you know, maybe it's time to have another look. Tamahiri says he doesn't dwell on what Witness C did to him. It's been a long time now. And if you keep stewing it over it, and the sanity lies on that side of the door, you know, so we'll just thought, well, we'll just keep plugging away at it. But, you know, being bitter and twisted, it only um, damages yourself rather than... And the bloke you're bitter and twisted about probably doesn't even know. <laughs> he says he won't stop trying to get his convictions overturned until he's buried, and even then he hopes someone else will take up the fight. The prosecution of Witness C was brought by career criminal and self-styled jailhouse lawyer Arthur Taylor. Richard Francois appeared on behalf of Taylor, beginning with an opening statement stressing the importance of truth and justice. If we think no individual can change the lives of others, it was a Polynesian who sailed across the Pacific Ocean and discovered a new world. A woman established Mr Francois asked Justice Futter to impose the highest possible sentence for the offending, 14 years in prison, saying Witness C's was the worst perjury case the country had seen. He said Witness C's evidence was important because it dovetailed into the evidence of the trampers who told the court they saw Tamahiri with a woman who looked like Heidi Parkinen at a campsite. That's where Witness C's evidence is very important because he says that Mr David Tamahiri confessed. I almost got sprung by these two people. Now that of course has been found to be, by a verdict of, of his peers, as lies, perjury. He said Witness C had also lied to a human rights tribunal hearing and at his own trial where he initially placed all the blame on his co-accused. Witness C's lawyer Adam Simpringham said his client poses no future risk of perjuring himself because no prosecutor would ever call him as a witness again. He conceded that Witness C's evidence was important but said the Court of Appeal also found that it would be surprising if the jury gave Witness C's story much credence. Mr Simpringham said his client would be appealing. Justice Futter continued the interim name suppression order until the appeal has been heard. In sentencing, the judge said Witness C must have known his evidence would carry consequences for Tamahiri. Your perjury is a brazen assault on the foundation of our criminal justice system. It also appears to be the worst example of perjury within this jurisdiction. Justice Futter said it was not the worst possible offending of its kind. For example, Witness C didn't claim to be an eyewitness. He took into account Witness C's poor health. Motihotako Tiahiahi, Ko Edward Gayahou.